with Bruschetta. Yo, what is up, AD team? Austin Dunham back again with another video. And today we have a reaction video, guys. A reaction video to my old diet video. So, if you don't know, I've been in this YouTube game for ever, it feels like. Since 2015, 2016, I started posting videos even when I wasn't the most, you know, best at calisthenics, even when um, my diet knowledge wasn't the greatest, right? I was like 18 years old. So sometimes I like to go back and look at my old videos and just see how much has changed in regards to my body, my training uh, mentality, my dieting mentality, all of it. So in this video, we're gonna watch my first full day of eating video. I'm gonna break it down and kind of analyze what I was doing at the current time. Without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so the video we're gonna be watching is How I Eat Full Day of Eating, Calisthenics Nutrition. This video was posted April 18th, 2015. So six years ago at this point in time, um yeah let's see how young also is eating let's go ahead and react to it Ooh, that intro <laughs> presents i was so corny guys what is up guys austin dunham back again can you tell i just woke up yep probably it is 8 30 in the morning and i'm gonna be doing a diet example video or aka a full day of eating and basically i'm just going to show you what i eat so you can have an idea on how Ooh, guys look how skinny i was you, you guys are probably like bro you ain't skinny so you can have an idea look, on how look at my body i had to be at like 20 pounds lighter how i get my physique or how i maintain it now dieting with calisthenics isn't really that complex as bodybuilders like so that statement, dieting with calisthenics isn't as complex as bodybuilders. It can be as complex as you want. And I feel like the first issue with my video here is that I'm acting like there's a difference between a calisthenics diet versus like a, a bodybuilder or somebody else who wants to build muscle diet. It's literally the same thing. Like I don't count calories. I don't count my macros, carbs, none of that. I just try to maintain and eat clean and enjoy my life and eat food basically but don't like i said in my faq faq video don't over glint yourself and stuff like that so at the time i didn't count my calories my macros or anything just ate intuitively which i do at this current time right now but since this video over the past five years i've counted my calories a lot a ton and i've really gotten a sense of knowing my body better but uh, today you'll be seeing an example of all what I'm talking about right here. So first meal of the day. All right, first meal of the day, 8.30 a.m. We're gonna be having two scoops of whey protein. Now this isn't really necessary, but Bad. I like taking it because it makes me- Good old gold standard whey. So good Classic. in the morning. And I have a free and whole five pound jug, so I might as well use it. Also, I'm gonna be having- Was that whole some milk? packets of oatmeal, this maple brown sugar with high fiber and some milk to go along Bro, with all the what? stuff. Getting. Guys, it's 2021. Ain't nobody drinking whole milk anymore. I was I would drink whole milk like it was water, guys. That's probably why my acne got so bad. In high school, during this time period, whole milk was like a staple in my diet because everybody was saying, oh, you gotta drink it because that's high protein in it. But like little did I know at the time, but this meal seems like something I would eat today as a first meal, but obviously with a bit of variation. So I would use, I might still make a protein shake, but instead I would use water or almond milk. And that oatmeal that I was using was like, it was Quaker oatmeal, which is kind of sugary, but that one didn't have protein. Nowadays they make like high protein oatmeal with high fiber, but that one just have high fiber. Getting about 200 calories and 40 grams of protein, not including this milk I'm about to put in here. So that's a pretty high amount of protein for breakfast. Oh, I can't even Great. watch it. And yeah, we got, I would estimate around 50 grams of protein in this meal. Like I said, I don't count. I just eat when I'm hungry and I try 
to avoid like bad foods. If you notice, I'm still aware of my protein intake despite me not counting calories. I mentioned that in all the things that um, my video, all things shredded people do too. And I still do that to this day. But yeah, so stay tuned for meal two. Meal two, well, it's not really a meal, but it's gonna be a little snack. It's gonna be, if I can show you guys. This granola no. bar here, only granola bar. Oh, guys. Whew. Man, Austin had no clue what he was eating. So guys, granola bars, snack bars, anything of that nature like this right here is not the best option that you wanna eat as a snack between meals. I didn't know any better at the time. As of now, I would either choose like a 20 gram protein bar. Um, if anything, I would choose a Cliff Bar, which is a carb bar, but not a sweet and salty granola bar, right? <laughs> no, I wouldn't do it like 160 calories. But like I said, I'm trying not to eat a lot to, right now, at least because I'm gonna do a photo shoot like within an hour from now. And I'm trying to maintain my leanness from this morning. And also- Bro science, no matter what I ate, I was gonna maintain my leanness. I was just trying to not have any water retention at the time. Of course, been drinking my water and I've been peeing a lot too. You may ask why is it so small? Why are you eating so less calories? Well, like I said, because I'm having a photo shoot. Funny story about that shirt that I'm wearing in this video. Um, that definitely doesn't fit me. And I remember throwing it away like two years ago because it was so small on me now. But also because my lunch, like I, pl I plan my lunch ahead from leftovers from yesterday. And my lunch is gonna have a lot of calories in it. Probably around like 700 calories. So I'm kind of going light right now. And plus I'm really not that hungry, actually. I just ate like I said, around 8.30. So, yeah, um, and if you wanna see those pictures from the photo shoot that I'm about to have, follow me on Instagram at geekamd. Geekamd. G-E-K-A-M-D. -E follow me on Instagram now at Austin underscore Dunham though. But let's skip to the next part of this meal. Let's see what I'm eating. Third meal of the day, just ran my Whataburger. What? I got a normal grilled chicken sandwich with nothing. Whataburger. I so back where I used to live, first of all, I'm in my older car. It's crazy. My my first car, the Toyota Corolla, 2001, 2002. Now I drive a C8 Corvette. Crazy how things have changed in five years. But um, the Whataburger is this fast food place that I live right beside, literally two minute drive away. And it's comparable to In-N-Out, but in my experience, way, way better. And let's see what I got. And on it, it's all plain. I got a grilled chicken sandwich, a plain grilled chicken sandwich. But actually it's pretty big. So it's probably around like 350 calories, but it has a lot of protein. But yeah, I'm finna eat this. And my ex-girlfriend was recording this. And stay tuned for the next meal. All right guys, meal four. This boy just eating anything, Zaxby's. So let's, oh my PSP in the background right there. I have no idea where that PSP is at, but we got Zaxby's, okay, another fast food. Guys, I did not know how to cook at all during this time period. I, I barely knew how to use a stove. The only thing I could make was eggs. So look at the growth period throughout all of this. I learned a lot of my cooking when I was in college. It is 6.30 p.m. and I got some leftover food from yesterday. I purposely didn't eat all my chicken so I could save for today. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six strips and a teeny bit of fries from this awesome place called Zaxby's. If you had heard about it, it I love how like naive and how casual I'm saying, like as if all the food that I'm eating is so good. That goes to show that YouTube back in the day was so different. Like nowadays, if I posted something like this, I would get, I got flamed when I posted this video, but not as much as I would now. You know what I mean? Just so much with the, the these channels that kind of critique everybody's diets, channels, how much knowledge has been spread and given over the past three to five years. Just so many more people, including YouTubers themselves, are a lot more knowledgeable on diet and kind of watch what they share in regards to the information that they post. It is freaking awesome. You should go eat there. This won't be my last meal. I'll probably eat something else before I go to bed. And But yeah, that's about it. This is the big meal that I was talking about in like meal two. And that's why I was eating light because this is a lot of calories right here probably around 600 or 700 calories because these things are worth a lot. But they're so good. They but are yeah, good. 
Uh, all right. I still eat Zaxby's to this day, occasionally. All right, guys, it's been a great day. But I eat my last meal. It's not my old room in my old house. Wow. 9.30 and my last meal is a classic boy peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This boy at 9.30 is eating a peanut butter jelly sandwich and some pretzels. With some pretzels. Bro, what are you doing, the struggle, bro? Man, the struggle. The struggle. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, All right, guys. This diet, well, this last meal is not it. Not it. So one rule of thumb that I follow now is that every meal has at least 30 to 50 grams of protein in it. This meal right here is nothing but carbs and fat. Peanut butter, jelly, white bread, um, like normal white bread and pretzels. That's not even like 15 grams of protein in that. So I don't know what my thought process was here and why I thought this was good and or healthy. I think at the time I thought pretzels were like healthy and I don't know, man. It's been a pretty long day. I'm pretty tired for to get this last meal. And just to overview my diet, just try to keep it clean. Try and keep it clean. There's nothing clean about this diet. If you do cheat, it's no big deal. Um, but try to keep it at a minimum. Like today I had the Zaxby's chicken fingers. And also, don't count calories, keep the protein high. Supplements aren't needed, but they can be useful sometimes. I such as that. if you don't want to eat chicken breast, and you need more protein. One time shooting it. And all right, guys. So that was my reaction to my old diet video. It's crazy to see the growth and the change in regards to my physical and my mental. Um, if you're not evolving, then you're obviously doing something wrong. Hope you guys learned something from this video because I definitely learned something for myself. Check out all the links down below if you wanna increase your uh, knowledge with nutrition and training too. See you guys in the next one. Peace.